ready for a bathroom transformation? In this video, I'm showing you how you can quickly and easily grout shower tiles like an expert without any prior experience. After your tiles are installed, you do need to clean the surface. And I'm just using a damp sponge and wiping all the excess thin set from the tiles. Now, there will probably be thin set in the grout lines themselves, and you do need to clean them out. The best way that I have found is just using a flathead screwdriver or you can use this grout removing tool as well. They both work. Whatever tool you decide to use, the whole idea is just scraping out the thin set that is covering or seeping through these grout lines because you wanna make sure that the grout can fully adhere to the tiles. Afterwards, you're gonna make sure everything's nice and clean before you move on to actually grouting. I'm about ready to grout the tile using this grout. And this one is actually, it's a replacement. It's an all-in-one, so you can use this for the um, unsanded grout and the sanded grout. So if you need, you can use this one, which is pretty awesome. But I wanna show you this because the first time I mixed grout, it kind of shocked me with the little amount of water that is needed for this amount of grout. And you're gonna think that there's no way this is going to mix together. After the grout was mixed according to the instructions, we were ready to install it onto the shower walls. So what we're gonna use is a rubber float, and the idea here is to fill in all these grout lines, and you're gonna do this at a 45 degree angle. So what that means is you're gonna have this float be 45 degrees from the tile, but if you placed it flat up against the tile, ideally you want it to be 45 degrees from the grout line as well. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, it was something I learned towards the end of my grouting that made it a lot easier. And you're just gonna apply this to all the area. Now you're only mixing enough grout that you can actually install in 20 minutes. After that, you're gonna use a damp sponge and wipe it out. I like to two, use two buckets here, one to wring out dirty sponge and the other one to wash it out one more time just to give you fresh water. I wanna hurry and give you a quick tip when you are mixing your grout. You should only mix a quarter of your grout. Grout goes a long way, but also you need to start washing it off within 20 minutes. If not, it starts setting up, and believe me, it is a nightmare to try to get off the walls if it sets up too quickly. So if you apply only enough for 20 minutes, and I always set a timer on my watch just to make sure I don't go over, and then you'll start washing your walls. Also, another thing that I didn't mention was when you're applying the grout, make sure you apply it to all the corners. So where the tiles come together in the wall, make sure you apply grout down that. Also where it hits the bathtub, just apply it everywhere to make sure you can water get a waterproof finished as possible. You will come through and apply silicone afterwards, but this way it's just a double way to make sure that you're completely waterproofed in your shower. After you have applied all your grout and wiped it off with the sponge, you're gonna go back through with a damp microfiber cloth and wipe it off again because there will be a haze. 
You will find that after the grout has fully cured, you're gonna wanna wipe it off again with this microfiber cloth before moving on to the next part, which is applying the sealer to protect the tiles and the grout. And it's super easy, you just need a paintbrush, and I recommend gloves as well, and you'll just paint it on. Every sealer is different, so make sure you do read the instructions though because there are different dry times. After allowing the sealer to fully cure and dry, you're ready for the next part, which is applying the silicone. I'm also using a caulk, which is the type of the grout. I like to use this in showers, but I like to use the silicone, a white silicone at the edges where it meets the ceiling, but also I'm using it where it meets the window as well, just to give me a nice seal. And then after that has dried, I will move on to using that caulk that looks like grout. And I will apply this along the lines where the tiles meet together and where it meets the tub as well. And here is our bathroom after everything has dried and sealed. It looks amazing.